friends, my name is Sabrina. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you aren't. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys with me thrifting. If you didn't know, I love to thrift. That's basically what my whole channel is about at this point. And this time in particular, I'm looking for pieces that just really capture the winter vibe I'm going for. I'm not gonna speak too soon and get our hopes up. Honestly, super ready. I haven't been thrifting in a few weeks and it feels like it's been years. So this is supposed to be super fun. I hope I find some cute things. Wish me luck and we're gonna see what we find together. So I'd like to take a few minutes to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Casetify. Casetify is a tech accessory brand known for their protective, stylish, and sustainable phone cases. They have a huge variety of prints available with over 2,000 plus that you can choose from, along with customizable options, which is amazing. And what I love about Casetify is that the cases are both stylish and protective. I feel like a lot of the times when I'm shopping for a new phone case, I have to choose between whether it's gonna protect my phone from shattering or or whether it's gonna be cute or not. And with Casetify, you don't have to sacrifice one for the other. Their new impact case has EcoShock technology that can protect your phone from an up to 8.2 feet drop. Once again, thank you so much Casetify for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to use my code for money off. I'll put it on the screen. And yeah, get you guys some super cute, super protective and sustainable phone cases. Back to the video. So I'm having a quick change of plans. I was originally gonna go to this thrift store that I know is gonna be good. But that's no fun. But we're gonna go to a thrift store that I've never been to before. And it's gonna be risky, but it's gonna be way bigger than the one I was originally gonna go to. This place is huge. Oh my goodness. I actually lied about not coming here before. I thought I'd never been here, but turns out I just haven't been here in like 10 years. <laughs> Turn right. Oh wow, my GPS. So I just got to our destination. I'm super excited. I don't know what they're gonna have. Y'all, why the anxiety kind of kicking in right now? Like, usually I'm like with someone, but it's okay. This is more intimate. We're on our own little date, so it's fine. By the way, do you guys like my little braided ribbon? I tried to do something different, you know? is so cute but it has cat fur all over it I'm kind of debating start finding things quickly at all at this thrift store i tried to give them the benefit of the doubt with some things but i just wasn't hitting my luck just yet i did find these super cute pink sweatpants but they were like capris and i don't like how those look on me so but these Victoria's Secret pink shorts were my first lucky find of the day. I think they're so cute for the house. I kind of felt obligated to get this shirt because it's Mean Girls, but I feel like it could have been more pink.
children section, it got a lot more interesting. I feel like that's always how it is for me. I thought this Aeropostale jacket was so adorable. I love the rhinestone details on it. I just left the thrift store and that was low-key kind of whack I'm not gonna lie yeah the selection wasn't giving today I mean like I said I didn't know what to expect when I decided to come here because I've literally never been to this one except for a couple times when I was younger I did get a pair of shorts though but you guys would not believe like when I got to the register and was ready to pay and everything I brought out my wallet and the dude was like, if this is all you're getting, you can have it. Like, basically giving it to me for free. And I was like, no, you don't have to. But he did. So I'm super grateful that happened. That was super nice and thoughtful of the cashier. So I just arrived at the second thrift store of the day. And I really hope it goes well and better than the first one did. My hopes are still up. Um, honestly, I feel like a pattern in my videos is that... The first thrift store is kind of a miss, and then the smaller one that I go to next is better. First, I have to reapply my gloss before I go in there and not have the lips looking dry. <laughs> so, right off the bat, we were off to a good start with this cute Victoria's Secret makeup bag. And I loved this pink and brown bag. I think it would be so cute with charms attached to it. And I fell in love with this baby pink sweater, but it was just a little bit too big for me, so I didn't end up getting her. Four-year-olds really won because look how cute this shirt was, you guys. If only it could fit. thrifting for jeans a lot lately like that's been my main focus whenever I've been to the thrift store lately so I was super excited when I found these skinny miss me jeans That was 
such a fun and successful second stop. Like, I'm so glad that I came here. So happy with all my finds from this thrift store, and they did not let me down this time. I can't wait to show you guys everything that I got. Oh my god. I'm super glad I found that Victoria's Secret makeup case thing. I really needed something like that, and when you find them online, they're like mad expensive. So yeah, I'd say today was successful. Now I'm about to head over to my sister's job and bother her because she's like five minutes away from me right now. And I'm gonna show you guys everything I got when I get home. And I think that's all the thrifting I'm gonna do today. It's getting late. This day late savings has been ruining my whole life schedule. Like why is it already dark at five o'clock? I don't know, I hate it. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna record again, but so I decided to include some footage of when I went thrifting a couple weeks ago. It was such a successful trip and I just had to show you guys everything that I found. And this is also the day that I found the shirt that I'm wearing in this video. to show you everything that I got today. You guys are probably so sick of seeing me in this corner of my room, but when I tell you guys, like after a long day of getting ready, this is like the only clean corner in my room. <laughs> Please excuse the same background. As you guys saw, the first thrift store we went to wasn't that successful. They didn't have that much stuff, but I did find a pair of shorts. It's just these cute pink Victoria's Secret, almost towelish type of shorts. Um, I think it's called terry cloth actually. Such a pretty shade of pink, so comfy looking, and they're really stretchy too. And I must say, I was a little bit disappointed in the thrift store that I went to first because it was so big and that was the only thing I found, but I went later in the day. So a lot of the times people come early and buy everything, so I just need to know for next time. On to the second thrift store. I found this super cute Victoria's Secret makeup case. I would say this is like a case, right? I don't know. But it's basically one of those foldy things where you can store products in and then it secures and closes as well. So I think that is super cute and it was only $6. I actually wanted something like this except it was Juicy Couture and they were selling it for like $300 so absolutely not. So I'm so glad that I found this because it's just as cute and it's super sleek. Like I just love the iconicness of a good Victoria's Secret stripe pattern. Like you know exactly what it is when you look at it. So pretty, so iconic. Okay, the next thing that I found at the second thrift store I went to is this Justice long sleeve button up shirt and it is so cute you guys so pretty i love how it has the justice symbol at the bottom there and it also has like glittery details which i thought was so adorable i just love a good long sleeve baby pink button up you can literally never have too many of these kind of want to wear this right now it's just so cute i'm obsessed so the next thing i got are these super cute miss me jeans if you know me, you know I love a good pair of Miss Me's. They're just so timeless and iconic, and they always have the cutest designs on the back pocket. And this is actually the first time I've bought a pair of skinny jeans in so long. I usually wouldn't go for skinny jeans, but I just imagine them with like boots and some leg warmers. I love the pocket details as always. Miss Me never misses. Like, I don't know a better pair of jeans, seriously. And I actually wore some Miss Me's today, so I feel like I blessed myself by wearing Miss Me's. And I also had a really successful thrift trip the other day, and I'm going to include some footage from that trip in this video. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got from the other day too. So I found this super cute Adidas long sleeve. And it has like two gems on the side of the Adidas logo, but one of them fell off and I'm probably just gonna glue it back on. And yeah, I just thought this was so cute. I barely see the Adidas font stylized like this. So I was like, it's totally me. It's pink, it has cursive on it, why not? This is also super cozy, so we love that. And next I got this baby pink tank top from the brand No Boundaries. And I actually wore this in my last vlog video. 
and yeah i think it's so cute this might be my favorite tank top that i thrifted because it's like the perfect shade of pink like i know i always say that it's just so light and pretty and yeah i'm definitely gonna wear this a lot i already started wearing it so and i must be a magnet for victoria's secret because the other day i thrifted these super cute victoria's secret pajama pants like the classic pink and white stripes and it has like a glitter line detail along the stripes which i think is super adorable it was just such a lucky thrift day when i got these okay and the final thing that i'll be showing you guys today is this guest super cute mini skirt funny thing about this skirt is when i got home i realized i have one that's almost identical to it so i might be selling this i don't know i kind of like how this one fits more than my other one so i'm really not sure yet and it has these super cute pockets with guests written in cursive and i love that detail so much it's so subtle but so cute i just love a good guest vintage mini skirt they're always the perfect length so that is everything. I'm super happy with everything that I've thrifted lately. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and my thrift with me today. I've been making it a habit to like record when I'm out thrifting, even just on a day where I'm not recording. So I can like put it into a later vlog for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.